I was letting my employees cut the center out of this compressor housing for the T51R mod. And when you get down to the point where the anti-surge groove is cut, there's big chunks that can fly out. And so a big chunk flew out off the part and it shifted the compressor housing and then it made it so that it cut the compressor housing uneven. So I had to replace the whole inlet as a result of that. Here's where I messed up. I put this part on the lathe to cut the excess amount off. I knew it was a little bit top heavy, but I wasn't that worried about it. Well, it got a little hot, then the part flew off and it caused a little bit of damage, but I was able to fly all that out and restore it and still use this to press in as my inlet. As you can see, it also bent my grooving tool. So I'm ready to put this inlet in there. I just went ahead and notched this thing right where the damage spot was. The reason, because I'm trying to get, make sure we have enough clearance here for that bolt to go through. So I think that will work out well. You can see the other side of the bolt there. I don't know if that's gonna be an issue. I didn't even look at that yet. No, actually that won't be a problem. There's actually clearance there. You can see it right there. Now, once the inlet's in there, I'm thinking there might be an issue with the T51R again with the bolt, because I'm gonna have to go deeper with that. The T51R needs to come all the way down here. It may, like, what's gonna likely happen, it may cut a section out but I can bypass that depending on where I twist the T51R. I'll just have to not aim for that bolt, the inlet, I mean. I'll just make it so it won't hit that bolt. And what likely will happen is, you know, this area may not even be there anymore, but my inlet will be stopped there. And then this upper ledge may cut down in the bolt hole again but it's threaded right here on the back side, so that's not gonna matter. I think it'll go pretty pretty well. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some JB Weld around here, press that inlet in. We have a 3,000th press fit, so it should hold, but I put the JB Weld in there just to make it so it shouldn't, it should really never come out of there. Things going together good. I'll make sure it's straight. <clears throat> now that I have the inlet pressed in, I want to just cut this out to the bare minimum around three point seven five inches and then I'm gonna redo this so I'm gonna put my previous dimensions here and here and the thickness of that tab there and then I'm gonna cut inside here for the T51R mod this is looking good I think it could ever know that I ruined the inlet and replaced it. It's kind of hard to tell. You can see that right there though. I guess that would be the telltale sign. Also, you can see where it was being held and it slipped. <clears throat> 